Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was another school day. I had um, Kyle and Paige there at my house and when they came they brought their scooters but they forgot to bring their schoolwork so I brought them back home and we got their schoolwork and while I was there I said to Kyle, I says, where's that printout paper that we have to finish because we have to do page um, six and seven I think it was six has both sides and then seven so there was actually three sides of a page that needed to be done he goes I don't know and I said well you better find it and so he didn't bother to look and so I said who's whose math is this and he goes that's pages and I said well I guess you're gonna do pages math he goes I can't do pages math that's multiplication I said I'm sorry if you don't find yours you're gonna have to do this instead and help page out well, it was two seconds later, and he pulls his paper out from underneath the place where he hid it. <laughs> He's so naughty. But, um, so he did the, he finished his paper, and then he was all upset because the one page got ripped out. And I said, don't worry about that page. I have a stapler at the house. I will staple it back in. So I, because he wasn't going to do it now, because now it's ruined. <laughs> He's so naughty. And so I stapled it together, and then he did his math, and he got it done. And then he had, we found the email of the teacher, because I said, there's got, you know, where's the teacher's note? Because the other day it showed up, and today it showed up for a second, and then it disappeared. And it was like, where did it go? So, so Paige said, well, we could check the email. So we did check the email, and in the email it stated, what he was missing and so he had four maths to do and a couple readings to do on his reading that he had to do and so they by the time we got to my house back to my house it was like oh, a little after 12 and I said that I asked Paige I says well how long is your lunch is it 20 minutes or a half an hour and she said she didn't know and so I gave him a half an hour for their lunch and they had, they want, she wanted that chicken that I did the other day with the egg, where you beat up with the egg and the chicken. That's what she wanted. And she, she ate really well. And Kyle ate it too. And he, last time didn't want it, but this time he enjoyed it and he had extra and extra. So that's what they had for lunch today. And um, she brought milk because I have the half and half, but they have milk that they wanted to use up. So they brought milk so I didn't have to provide the milk but just the chicken. And um, that was something else I was going to say. Let's. Oh, after the, I told Kyle, <laughs> I said to him, you're going to be working on school work till 3.30 because that's the time you get out. And he started to whine about having to stay there till 3.30. I said, well, if you don't get the work done, you'll stay here till 4.30 to do the work. If you get done before 3.30, you have free time. And he goes, well, I brought my scooter. And I says, I know you brought your scooter. And if you want to ride that scooter, you're going to have to get this work done because that scooter is not going to go anywhere unless you are got your work done. So he did his math. He finished it. He did his reading. He finished it. Mm -hmm. Then he wanted to know if he could play with my iPad. And I says, well, what about the scooter? Don't you want to go out and ride on your scooter? That was so important when we were supposed to be doing schoolwork. And he didn't want to go out on the scooter he just wanted to play on the iPad so I said okay you can play on the iPad if that's what you prefer to do so that's what he did and Paige she had a couple of um, zoom classes she had to attend so one was with the school and one was with her cheering and they actually are practicing distance learning with the zoom on the zoom and so she did that and then we went out, well, before this, before the Zoom, the second Zoom class, we went out to um, the chickens to give them their chicken scratch because she wanted to see the chickens. She used to have Dorothy. Dorothy used to be hers, and the seven babies was her, um, on her, at her house. And she was really surprised to see how big the babies have gotten. And then she looked over to Rosie. Rosie is a special chicken. She's a real special girl just for Jane just for Jane that's right <laughs> Rosie is I said because uh, Paige she goes you've got and I have to look at the paper because I can't I don't know how to say it you've got a I am I am Simani it's a all black chicken is what it is it's 
hyperpigmentation and it's got um, fibromelanosis is what it's called. <laughs> this is so hard. Rosie has, um, uh, and her, her body is black. Her feathers are black and her skin is black. She's, her crown is black. The inside of her mouth is black. Her feet are black. Everything's black. She's all black. She's my little black girl. And she's so pretty. And the um, skin and the feathers have like a turquoise glow to it besides being black. And they can lay um, a tinted egg that is kind of a brownish egg. They can also lay a cream colored egg. And they can lay a light blue. So we'll see what, what Rosie does. I don't know what she will lay. And this little bird is from originated from Indonesia. And she's got a cousin <laughs> related to the Indian cousin, Kadak Nath. Um, <laughs> this is all these funny names that I haven't, let's see. And her, oh, her, fe her feathers and her internal organs. Like if you were to eat this little bird, which I'm not going to do, she would, they say that this meat is the best, juiciest, tastiest little bird ever. And her weight, she she can be, she's a little bird, so she can be 3.3 .3 pounds up to 4.4 .4 pounds, but I think she's the littlest. I think she's not even 3.3. .3. She's just a little girl. Rosie is adorable. And Rosie and her mama, her mama is Silver Fox. They, um, Rosie is actually a lot calmer than Andy. Andy he goes out the he goes out too with his mother and when i go to open the gate i say okay come on silver fox and she will walk very slow past me and she goes into the gate and rosie will follow her well andy will run the other way and he usually goes through the fence is how he gets in he still fits through the fence and he he just does that and so does rosie she fits through the fence but she wants to walk through the door so she walks through the door. Well, she's a lady. She is a lady. She's a <laughs> sweetie. And um, I'm hoping that she will get to the point where uh, Silver Fox is very calm now. Silver Fox used to be very skittish. And I'm hoping Rosie will follow suit. And eventually I'll be able to pet her. Because I can pet Silver Fox when I'm doing the chicken scratch. But otherwise I can't get close um, to her. So that was the excitement of today. I got eight eggs and one hen. I don't know which one did. There was a brand new little teeny tiny egg laid underneath the pine tree, which was unusual because my birds all lay in the, in the nesting box. I hope they don't start doing that. I don't want to go on an Easter egg hunt every time I have to gather mm -hmm. eggs. But I got eight eggs today, which is a lot of eggs. So that's the talk of today. It was about Rosie, my sweet little girl. And I'm so glad she's a girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's it. I hope you had a great day. And I will say goodbye. And I'll see you all tomorrow. So bye-bye.